Hello guys, this is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make Indian style super delicious, super tasty kidney beans curry. It's very delicious to eat and very easy to make. So let's see the recipe. I took one and a half cup of kidney beans and soaked them overnight and in the morning I have washed them properly and after that now we have to pressure cook them. So I have taken a pressure cooker and added the kidney beans into the pressure cooker. Now we have to add water to pressure cook them. We actually don't need so much water for this process. We just need the kidney beans to be soaked in the water very nicely. And now I am adding some salt. After that I'll cover the pressure cooker and cook the kidney beans for 18 to 20 minutes on medium heat. And now our kidney beans are ready. I'll show you while I'm checking. You can see friends the kidney beans are very soft to look at. They are very soft and fully cooked. Now I am checking. They are actually very hot. Uh, so you can see friends that the kidney beans are very soft. I cooked them for 20 minutes so that they can be very soft and our gravy can be thick. So now we will keep it aside and uh, let's go for the spices. I have taken one big size tomato and two small size garlics and some dry ginger. If you are taking fresh ginger then you may take one inch of ginger. I didn't have the fresh ginger so I have taken the dry ginger. Now we have to blend them all together properly and make a smooth paste. You can see friends that I have made a smooth paste. Let's keep it aside and go for the main process. I have put a pan on the induction as you can see and uh, of course turn the heat on. Now I am adding 2 spoons of uh, uh, cooking oil. Let the oil heat well and after that we will add half teaspoon of cumin seeds and half teaspoon of mustard seeds. We have to let all the cumin seeds and mustard seeds crackle well and after that we have to add onion here. So I have taken one big size onion finely chopped and I am adding it. We don't have to fry them very nicely just we have to make them transparent in color. After the color is transparent I am adding some asafoetida here. I am adding one pinch of asafoetida. You may add this uh, with the cumin seeds and mustard seeds of course but I am adding here and after that we will add the spices puree. The tomato, uh, garlic and uh, ginger paste here. We will add some water washing the mixer jar because actually we need some water to cook the spices and of course we don't want to waste the spices so we'll wash the mixer jar and add some water here after that we'll add the spices i'm adding salt as per taste one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder half teaspoon of coriander powder red chili powder according to taste and here i am taking half teaspoon of kanda lasun masala it's actually a maharashtrian spices mix and if it is not available near you just skip it and in that case you have to add one teaspoon of garam masala but now i'll add one fourth teaspoon of garam masala because i added kanda lasun masala too and of course we have to be careful while adding salt because we added salt with the kidney beans also so add salt according to your taste now I am mixing everything properly and after that I will cover the pan and cook the spices until oil is released from the spices mix. In between we have to uncover the pan and start the spices mix of course. And now the spices mix is ready as you can see. Oil is released from the spices and they are cooked very well. And now it's high time to add the kidney beans here. The pressure cooked kidney beans of course. I am adding them. I'll add the rest water of the pressure cooker and after that I'll add some extra water for gravy. Add water according to your wish, your choice because it actually depends on the gravy consistency you want. So add water according to your choice. We have not to cook the curry for a long time so don't add so much extra water because the kidney beans are already cooked and the spices are cooked also. 
so we have to boil them for 2 to 3 minutes only so we don't need to add so much extra water i'm adding a little more water here and after that i'll cover the pan and let it boil i'm mixing the curry properly and after that let's cover the pan and wait for the curry starts to boil it's okay let's cover now the curry is boiling very nicely as you can see and now it's time to add some roasted peanut powder it's not necessary but actually i love the taste and the flavor of roasted peanut powder so i'm adding some i'll add 2 to 3 teaspoons of roasted peanut powder i simply roasted the peanuts and after cooling them down i made a coarse powder in the mixer grinder i am adding 2 to 3 teaspoons of the peanut powder after that i'll mix it properly and i'll let the curry boil for 2 to 3 minutes on medium heat And after 2 to 3 minutes, we have to add some fresh coriander leaves and some kasuri methi. Kasuri methi means sun dried fenugreek leaves. So, here I am taking 1 teaspoon of sun dried fenugreek leaves and I will crush them a little in my palms. After that, I will add them. They are actually roasted kasuri methi because roasted kasuri methi tastes very well. So, I roasted them a little and after that, I have added them and add some fresh coriander leaves if available i don't have them so i am skipping them and at the end of the process i want to add some sugar here i want to add one fourth teaspoon of sugar with this curry it's fully optional for you but if there is no diabetes patient in your house then you may add this quantity of sugar and you will notice the change in the taste of the curry so i am adding one fourth teaspoon of sugar let's mix it properly and our rajma curry, I mean kidney beans curry is ready. We actually call uh, kidney beans as rajma here in India. So I am calling this rajma curry. Our curry is ready. Before turning the heat off, I will check the salt. And it's perfect. You may add some salt if needed. So our curry is ready. And now let's turn the heat off and cover the pan for 10 to 15 minutes. After 10 to 15 minutes, we will serve the curry. After 10 to 15 minutes, you can see the texture of the curry. It's very delicious to look at and the gravy is very nicely thick. So, let's serve the curry. You have seen friends that the recipe is very easy and it's very delicious to eat with boiled rice, pulao rice, naan, chapati, roti, any kind of Indian staple dish. So, try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience. Hit the like button if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.